Thank you very much and uh, welcome uh, to Agile Free Festival. So we call it Free Festival because everything's for free and we had a lot of, lot of great people having uh, both speeches, but also we are great community <clears throat> uh, doing all this work uh, to make this happen on voluntary basis. And it was amazing. I was part of uh, this journey together with the uh, uh, rest of the ambassadors and trustees and everything. And it has been really, really pleasure to see uh, how yeah, agility and agile can work on. And you have probably also seen, we have a meetup uh, uh, groups. Uh, there is a lot of other uh, great, great events. So you can visit the uh, <clears throat> meetup groups and then uh, sign for something what you find uh, interesting. And our vision as uh, Access Asia, it's worldwide. Everybody is welcome, uh, it's inclusive and free, and we are co-creating that. Uh, uh, in February, we had uh, our first uh, conference or festival where we celebrate 20 years of Agile Manifesto. And we had around yeah, 2 million people who participated uh, around the world. Uh, it was really, really pleasure. And then we decided, okay, we should continue this uh, really interesting journey. <clears throat> and of course, uh, as we support diversity and inclusion, <clears throat> we also uh, created the code, code of contact. And I know that all of you will respect that. So let's let's uh, behave uh, as, as we used to do. So I'm not expecting any big uh, challenges or, or, or something. <clears throat> so with that, uh, I would like uh, to ask you, uh, do you have any questions uh, or comments before we start the session? Okay. During this uh, session uh, today or tonight, uh, I would really like to invite you to share your experience, your knowledge, uh, uh, and also be curious and uh, ask the questions. <clears throat> so don't be shy. So I would like to invite you for the first uh, exercise or networking exercise. <clears throat> if you can spend the moment and think about then your best idea arrived. And if you can think where you have been, that you get aha experience. I can share. I think I got a lot of good ideas uh, during showering. <laughs> <I'm>, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Oh, great. Thank you very much. Lynn. And how did you feel when you get this aha? Oh, my thought was I must run out and then <laughs> record my ideas. Otherwise, I will forget them. <laughs> oh, great. Thank you very much. Uh, I usually uh, think about it before I go to bed and allow my mind to work out the problems. And then when I wake up in the morning, I have the ideas. Oh, thank you very much for sharing. Anyone else would like to share? When I'm just walking, go outside and just walk and clear my mind. Mm, great. And how does it feel for you when something click? <laughs> it feels as a relief and I get new energy. Mm, great, great. Anyone else? Um, yeah, most of my ideas uh, uh, flow better when I'm writing, actually physically with a, with a pen. And how do you feel? Your pen starts moving way faster than it was earlier. So, um... That's great. Anyone else? Don't be shy. Okay, I think when I am sharing ideas with other people, 
-hmm. So get input and 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 then it turns around and get new ideas all the time. So I'm more of a sharing person perhaps than when I'm alone. Thank you very much, Maya. And by the way, Maya is uh, my wife and she will be also co-host. If you have uh, some questions or something, you can uh, also raise your hand uh, here in the Zoom or just post it in chat and then we can take it uh, uh, on the go. <clears throat> Great. And what this telling us, you know, as a humans, when we take a shower, when we talk uh, with someone, when we walk, when we write, Any, any thought? Alan, can you uh, say it again? What do you expect here? Uh, now you, you share it, uh, you know, when your best idea come, you know, either, you know, when you are taking shower or when you are walking or writing, uh, what does it mean for you? What is telling you? I don't fully understand your question and where you uh, and the direction you are going in. Okay. Can you that explain means... a little bit more? Yes. Yeah. And that's that's a starting point for the rest of the session. We know, uh, especially when we talk uh, about uh, agility and all these agiles and frameworks, and some, sometimes we can be overwhelmed of all this information, especially if we are new uh, in, in the field. So what <clears throat> we are doing or when we are getting some great idea, we really need to, to relax and take step backs and, you know, reflect on the day or, you know, on a on some journey you have been. So therefore I started asking you this uh, question in the beginning. And when we talk about uh, agile or agility actually, what agility means for you? Anyone? Uh, so it's not necessarily to business, uh, but also in general, like um, the ability to respond to changes, uncertainties, like where uh, the more I like every day, I even realize you suddenly, uh, my son uh, got sick, I have to change and to adapt to the schedule and have to replan my work and so on. So this is the, the ability to, to adapt to the change on the uncertainty for me. Thank you very much, Lee. Anyone else would like to share? Curiosity, really. It's about looking, looking really actively for something different. That's mm. what it is for me. Mm. Great. Thank you, Johnny. Anyone else? Uh, yes, I would like to share, Alan. Hi. Yes, hi. <laughs> uh, actually, to be quite honest, I'm like at the point right now where I was about to say not following the freaking framework because I'm sick and tired, you know, right now at work. Uh, agility means to me to customize, basically. Stop, full stop. Mm -hmm. And Thank not you. follow the freaking framework. Thank yeah. you, Aisha. I appreciate it. Yeah. Great point and get great introduction uh, to this uh, uh, triangle. What is usually happening and what I experience uh, in organization I work at for the uh, management or someone decide now we are going agile or full way framework whatever. And then actually we uh, start focusing on all these practices, let's send the people, you know, on all these certification training, you know, and then we believe if we uh, get uh, 500 Scrum Masters or 500 product owners, then we are so agile. But what I learned, uh, and I also took uh, some extra education also to, to understand why sometimes we have a challenges to 
adapt uh, on agile way of working. <clears throat> and one of these uh, things what I discover, it's about mindset, how we think. Meaning uh, not only how I pers personally think, uh, maybe I know that I didn't discover yet, <clears throat> but uh, also how uh, when we look at uh, organization and as the whole system, how people are thinking there, uh, how they are behaving, how they are acting in the certain situation. And at the moment I'm working in pharma industry uh, and probably some of you are doing that as well or work it before, you know that whatever you try to do, it's always compliance or regulatory. So now I'm trying uh, to figure out how can we not break the rules, we will follow these rules we have to, but how we can adjust ourselves <clears throat> how we are thinking and how we can enhance uh, some of uh, our work. Uh, and of course, uh, when we are in organization, when we come into the organization, then uh, all these uh, cultural stuff, what we know or people tell us, you know, uh, yeah, this is, you know, our culture, we cannot do that or, or something. But what we should uh, also aim for to look, you know, what is below uh, this iceberg of the culture, how people behave, how it's interaction between people, how it's collaboration uh, among the uh, people and the different projects. <clears throat> and then when we understand that, in my opinion, then we can decide on how we could work better or apply some of these uh, agile frameworks, which in the end of the day can enable us to reach this organization uh, agility. And uh, probably ma many of you has been uh, in many, many great, great agile trainings. And all of us got uh, this term, right? VUCA, volatility, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity. And of course, and especially last yeah, one and a half year, uh, when pandemic started, we, we all realized that things can just, you know, turn down in a second and then suddenly we need to work uh, at home, uh, be in the kitchen while, you know, your wife or kids sitting in the bedroom doing homework and all these things. But I would say all of us, we were adaptable, unfortunate situation, but we were adaptable and we could manage that situation. And now a lot of companies kind of pushing us back to come to the office, but we got comfortable working from home. <clears throat> So what I was thinking about uh, uh, this uh, VUCA, it is great, you know, and it is true. But if we change the view and when we think about, you know, ourselves as uh, individuals, but also our teams uh, we are working on and organization, maybe we could enhance this uh, VUCA a little bit more. And what I experienced, now I'm sharing my experience, what I experienced, you know, when we start this agile journey, usually the vision, it's not clear or people don't know while someone's telling us, you know, we need to be agile or something. So we, we can work, you know, together and have uh, and share this uh, vision while we are doing this. And once when we understand the vision while we believe uh, agility could be possible in our organization or in our families, then a lot of things, in my opinion, will be much more certain because we will have a direction. We, we will know where we want to go or where we want to be. And I know that uh, when uh, talking about Agile's continuous journey, yes, of course it is but we will know what is the first step towards that journey. And on that journey, it will be some roadblocks and everything, but that's where agility, in my opinion, coming into the picture. How can we easily adapt to the new situation and overcome some of these uh, challenges what we might be facing? Do you have any questions or comments? Not for now, thank you. Now I would like to create, yeah, I don't know, three, four maybe breakout rooms where we can practice a little bit uh, 
mindset, simple exercise, and of course that you guys uh, get uh, to know each other a little bit better and yeah, extend networking. So we will have uh, two scenarios. <clears throat> One, you know, when uh, we are talking again with the friends, family at work, and then we say, yeah, you know, let, let's do that, uh, you know, or yeah, let's meet uh, tomorrow for lunch. And then we come, but, and then uh, the, the receiver immediately kind of give up, say, mm, okay, that means no, in a nice way. So what I'm working now with uh, my teams, again, we use, yes, we can do it. And then I encouraging team to use end as much as possible. Of course, sometimes you need to say but, but and instead of but. And what I learned is when we are using and, it's kind of uh, open our brains that actually we are going uh, into a more curious uh, way of doing things and uh, engaging our brains that okay, we can do these things. It's open for more uh, opportunities uh, than when we are using a, a but. Then we just close uh, uh, our minds and, and stuff. So would it be okay if I create, uh, I don't know how many we are, but I will create uh, maybe three meeting rooms and you will be assigned automatically. And we can spend, uh, I don't know, five minutes where you can uh, discuss uh, about this and maybe try to explain something uh, using but and end. Would it be okay? Okay. Yeah, sure. Let's sure. do networking. <clears throat>
Welcome back. Thank you. How was the discussion? I'm afraid it was a little bit of a frustration rant from my side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. And poor um, Nenad had to kind of just listen in. Sorry about that. Actually, I like that better because I mean, I already know this exercise. So it's really good for me to hear other people struggle. So I know what. <laughs> so you know what you're up against. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's waiting you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, someone else would also like to share how was the <clears throat> discussion in the breakout rooms? Yeah, if you if you basically talk about agility and if you talk about learning Scrum and a framework and a theory and get your certificates and do your first job, 
it took me i think uh it's 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 okay to basically practice the theory but that still doesn't mean that you feel what it really means i'm not sure if i make any sense right now but only when you get the experience of experiencing the added value you basically get a better understanding what you're trying to achieve so every time you start with a new team and you start with new people that want to adopt the framework and want to transform and think like okay i heard the buzzword agility let's go then i always try to go back at the time that i first heard the word agility and how long it took me to basically understand what it meant and what it brought me business wise and also private wise thank you so much for sharing and I couldn't agree more. It yeah, was the same for me. And I will show you in a moment uh, my journey, uh, how, how long it took me, you know, to, to understand. And as you said, all these trainings are great, really, we learn. But if you don't practice it, you know, it's just uh, one paper on the wall, right? So true. Thank yeah. you so much. Uh, anyone else would like to share? We had an interesting discussion there. Um, however, this, um, but we were, um, something I learned uh, from the group mate. Um, this, I mean, this expression, uh, yes, um, but um, it's kind of um, people want to express um, uh, some disagreement, but they don't want to like uh, disagree with everything and use this uh, expression um, you will acknowledge their part and also uh, give you a good feeling and then you express your disagreement in a polite way and i guess it also like a kind of uh, culture uh, influence some some country uh, are really polite and some country are more direct and so but i think uh, this expression is um it's, still, it's not you cannot force everybody to to change it because otherwise you won't hear any disagreement anymore so this is something i i learned i find is very interesting mm. yeah. thank you very much for sharing any other thoughts i think that ray said it very good at the end here like it's a muscle we have to train all the time so don't just do it with your teams at work, but do it frequently. Just use the muscle to train it up and then it would get easier with time. Thank you very much, Maya. And what I started doing, yeah, both in private life, but also trying to incorporate in a corporate life, I work it on this word value and I try to identify what does it mean for me, first of all, for my family and then uh, for my teams. And it's not something, you know, buzzy or so, oh my God, what's that now? It's pretty simple. And that's, you know, something uh, what we are doing it, you know, on everyday basis, maybe we are not uh, uh, thinking about that. But what I came with uh, uh, this uh, yeah, abbreviation, if I can call it, you know, whatever I'm doing, you know, either by myself or with my family or my work, I need to have, you know, vision why I want to do this, why this makes sense for me. And then uh, I work on to adapt my attitude uh, if I get coming to the new companies and new people or something and, you know, how I behave, respect, of course, it's always there. <clears throat> uh, then uh, I'm, uh, cu I'm curious to learn something new, learn uh, new people to know, learn about new companies, learn about new environments and, and you know, everything around me. Uh, and once uh, when I start learning or exploring these different uh, uh, opportunities uh, around me, then I'm also uh, curious and ask the questions, trying to understand why I think is happening, uh, 
uh, uh, there or uh, if I'm with some of my friends and uh, you know we talk about something I I always ask questions you know trying to understand not to just uh, you know say oh okay cool let's do that you know but tell me why and uh, from time to time I also evaluate both yeah my personal life my family life uh, we do that together uh, and then also uh, evaluate my work and, and uh, evaluate work uh, with, with my teams. <clears throat> so what I'm doing right now uh, with, with this one, uh, I'm working on to create uh, kind of the questions uh, what I can ask, you know, in the certain uh, situation if, if I want to uh, adapt on something or change something or, or learn something. Uh, and I will share also this presentation uh, uh, afterwards if you are curious about it. And then uh, later on, if you're also curious, I can uh, share some of these questions what I what I work it on. And it's not to hack that I have a special offer for you or something, <laughs> everything's free. So no worries. <laughs> And now I would uh, like uh, to show you my yeah, AHL journey or my uh, adoption to a little bit more grow mindset uh, than, uh, uh, than fixed my mindset what I had when I started my career. Not that I was born in 2001, it was many, many years ago. I'm old, old man, no hair, so everything's cool. So when I started my career in 2001, uh, and I started as a software developer in a company, and uh, later on, maybe after one year in one company, then uh, I became a QA responsible, you know, and control freak, if you want to call me, you know, everything must be perfect if, uh, you know, we are not deploying anything on production environments or something, you know, before, I tested and approve it. And of course, I'm the expert in uh, QA and test management, all these things. Uh, and took me, yeah, was it? Yeah, 11, 12 years to realize, yeah, maybe things could be also done differently. <clears throat> and uh, when I joined uh, one uh, company here in Copenhagen, uh, then we run a big uh, program. And then we decided that, you know, this HR, it's fancy. Let's Google it. Let's figure out, you know, what is it all about? <clears throat> uh, and then I discover, okay, this might be a good way for me to learn more about myself, to enhance my skills, my personal skills, which can, in the end of the day, contribute probably for, for the bigger picture or for the bigger, bigger case. I was <clears throat> really super, super excited and motivated. Let's do it. I read the books. I got the training, you know, all these standard uh, schedule, uh, but uh, I was, uh, <clears throat> I just remained curious, you know, and start yeah, reading more books, you know, looking webinars uh, and all this. And then gradually uh, I start applying some of these learning uh, in the company <clears throat> with the teams. Let's see all these scrum, what is it all about? You know, yeah, we need to empower people. Okay. And I think uh, Lee mentioned uh, it's a culture. What empowerment means for me, maybe it's something different for people who are living uh, not in Denmark. So I start kind of looking into these things, trying to understand, you know, who are these people I'm working on as a human being, not like, you know, software developer or QA or project manager. <laughs> uh, and it was, you know, uh, some uh, question marks, uh, and of course, uh, it was a, it is still big biggest ship, ship uh, container shipping company in the world, and you know then uh, there is some yeah, cultural uh, clash. Uh, we are doing this business hundred years, you know we are not ready for all these change and all these standard things. Probably what many of us uh, has experienced. Uh, but what I discover when we work it uh, with the teams and we actually. Uh, provided this value doing some of this work in an in a agile way and pro provided value within one month. And we presented to leadership team and they just couldn't believe it. We explained them there is small chunks we are working on and we hope that we might deliver it. And when we <clears throat> present work uh, for them, they look at us really kind of in suspicious ways uh, and that's working. So, yeah, this part 
is working, not uh, the whole system. And we offer them to try, you know, to run a, a demo so they could look and try and, you know, so we can receive feedback. And then they jump on, on the ship. <laughs> so, okay, this might work. Guys, what do you need, you know, uh, to, to continue doing this? So my learning was like, <clears throat> things can be done if we are ready to take that step and be open-minded and, and curious. And uh, lately or in uh, uh, November last year, uh, I got a new job in this uh, 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 pharma, pharma company, COVID. I met my teams for the first time uh, in uh, May this year. And one of my colleagues, uh, uh, she was so cool. She looked at me and said, oh, Ellen, you have a legs as well, you know, because we know each other, you know, from Teams and Zooms and everything. That was interesting, really. And then uh, what I did, uh, of course, everything is new, new industry, all these things. Then uh, I use it, uh, this uh, SCARF model. I don't know if you are familiar with that, but I, I can share that as well. Uh, and I just, you know, decided to be honest with myself. And this uh, SCARF model, uh, it's uh, created by David Rock. You can use it you know, both for personal life or when some changes is happening. And it helps me kind of to adapt myself to the new situation. In this case, it was a, a new job. Uh, and uh, I, in this uh, shipping company, I was there for yeah, seven years, got uh, some status like, you know, Ellen Agile, it's kind of the same, you know, get kind of self-confidence and all these things. But now something new happened, you know, I'm, I'm I need to come back to this uh, beginner mindset. I'm new, I'm starting from the scratch. Yes, I have experience, I have uh, you know, all this knowledge, but let's see where I am. And uh, I must say, uh, you know, how uh, do I feel about it? Uh, it was not easy, you know, so, you know, I'm preaching this age and people look at me and say, uh, yeah, and so what, <laughs> you know? So, so it was, you know, kind of clash uh, between yeah, my values and company, but I'm still kind of, you know, onboarding myself there. And it's a really interesting journey. And I believe it can be uh, okay with the time. Uh, then about these uh, certainties, uh, of course, uh, my manager who hired me, you know, he explained me what's need, what needs to be uh, done and all these things. This was kind of okay. And uh, this uh, one about autonomy, it was uh, yeah, interesting for me uh, because I look at, again, from the post side, what are opportunities here, uh, you know, I can contribute to so we can uh, get yeah, even better in all these things, uh, what we are doing. But what I discovered that uh, the culture of the company, which I'm still learning, it's pretty much kind of closed, you know, and then we have uh, luckily a lot of PhD people and they are used to work on their own, you know, PhD thesis and all this with all respect, super, super great people. But then uh, they are not ready to share that knowledge. Knowledge is still power, but uh, they, they have a challenges to understand, yeah, knowledge is power only when you share it. So I'm also working on, on that one. And of course I have always a choice, you know, what I can do, what I cannot do. So that's an interesting one for me, uh, which I will continue to work on. Then uh, uh, regarding this uh, uh, relationship and stuff, of course, I uh, I didn't lost, you know, good friends uh, from the previous job or something. But then, you know, uh, I, I start looking, okay, you know, how can I get a new friends, you know, new extending my network, uh, talk with the people, having lunch with the people. So that's actually going pretty, pretty well, I would say. Uh, so... It's good, good enough. Uh, and then about this uh, fairness, uh, so far uh, I have been treated really, really good, you know, and people could see my uh, experience and knowledge and different teams uh, outside of my team start kind of invited me uh, to some of their events if I can talk about something agile or, you know, share some of my experience. 
So uh, again, uh, I'm trying to look, you know, for these possibilities and opportunities where I can kind of uh, st uh, step in and contribute uh, or guide the people uh, uh, around me. And I measure my success, you know, when I can see people are smiling or say, okay, good job. You know, I, I don't need a better kind of uh, NPS or, or something. So that's what, what motivates me, you know, and, and, and makes me uh, happy. Do you have any questions or comment? Uh, my feeling is um, I really admire your courage and honest to share your journey to, to us. So uh, it means you, you open yourself to us because, uh, I mean, usually people will experience this journey when you uh, do um, make some changes, but uh, you, you really um, reflect it and share with others. And that is uh, um, something great in you. I, thanks very much. Thank you. Any other tools or comments? What are, you, what are your next steps, Alan? Uh, I need to work on autonomy and continue working on this uh, finding new friends regarding this. Uh, uh, th these questions, what I have here. Have, uh, have anybody tried or see this uh, uh, model before or try to work with the team or with yourself? No, I have not. But it looks very interesting at least to give it a try and start with myself before I introduce it to the team. Thank you very much. So thank you. Anyone else would like to share? I have a question for you. Yes, please. Uh, in regards to you have here one posted saying, how can I challenge A or the status quo? I don't know if that's still relevant, that poster. Um, but what what is your biggest challenge at the moment? Uh, it is uh, to get uh, or talk with the people to open themselves more and uh, share kind of their knowledge, you know, to have this uh, yeah, learning culture and, you know, knowledge is a power only if you share it. And I know it will not be super easy, but I will give a try. Yeah. Yeah, just to share, I, I have a lot of one-on-ones basically to get them into uh, or build a relationship so they feel a safe environment uh, to start sharing their information. And as long as they share it with me and they know that I'm doing it to others, then at the end, they will also do it team-wise as well. Mm. But it, it's a slow, it's sometimes a slow process. Um, yeah, and you just need to have patience and time. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And I just always think like every step is one. It doesn't matter if it's big or small. Exactly, exactly. Thank you very much for sharing. I can see Ima uh, raise a hand. Ima, please go ahead. Yes, yes, thank you for sharing so much about your journey. Um, I have a question with the face. So the part where you said about certainty, 
um, I'm curious, so how do you identify the exact people you think or you know would be your support in that new role, especially for beginners? Uh, can you please repeat the question? The line is not sure. So, so I'm saying um, in a new job, new probably new um, industry, maybe you're just new here, like a beginner. And yeah, I was concerned about the certainty part. While well, I'm asking a question about that, when you said um, your understanding of the role is key and then you're identifying people that will support you. So how do you... Are you able to identify who would the good support? I do suppose for you in the new you will help you go to. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So uh, what I uh, did, uh, of course, my manager explained, yeah, now you will be this scrum master or something. I say, okay, cool. And then uh, I asked him a question. My first question was, uh, do we have uh, any kind of community here who are kind of talking about this? agile or scrumming or something yeah he told me yeah you know there is a this guy or this lady you know this this is email maybe you can reach them then i just wrote email uh, to these two uh, persons you know hi my name is ellen i just joined i'm new uh, do you have a time for the cup of coffee or lunch or something uh, <clears throat> and then when we met uh, you know i present myself and kind of my experience and uh, I asked them, you know, if I can join uh, this community. And they said, yeah, sure. And now we are kind of extending gradually this, you know, network and meeting uh, new people. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, then, uh, you know, when I yeah, meet some new uh, colleagues at the work, you know, we chit chat, talk about, and uh, either I ask them, you know, is it something I can contribute, you know, on their journey or, uh, if, if they, if I need, you know, some uh, uh, help or support, then I, again, I'm open, you know, and curious and ask, ask them, you know, I just don't get these things, you know, can you please uh, guide me or, you know, help me <laughs> get out of here. Thank you. So basically, ask questions as much as possible and to the right people. At least it works for me. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, and that's, that's also one of these things, you know, when we talk about mindset, uh, and probably most of you has a kid, and we were also kids at some point of time. We were so curious, you know, mom, why this, dad, why this, why this yellow, why this uh, orange, you know, why is car driving? And, and then what's happening, I, I read, uh, I'm not so smart, but I read some, some books, you know, what is happening when we come to the school, you know, first grade, it's about competition. And then we are start losing this curiosity mindset uh, because we need to get the best grade and we need to go to the college, university, get a job, and then, you know, run, run, run. And uh, there is one guy who wrote a book about this mindset. Uh, I can share his name. And he kind of identified two types of mindset. I mindset, what we have, you know, by, by birth, and then D type of curiosity. What, uh, which means uh, we are getting curious when we are interested or we are, when we are lacking knowledge of something. So now I'm curious about Agile because uh, I'm, I don't know what is it all about. And then I kind of became curious. And that's what we are kind of developing our brains, you know, through our life because of, you know, from the school, college, university, and then work. So sometimes, you know, then I kind of lose my curiosity since I, I pull back, you know, my break and evaluate, say, okay, let me just see what happened here, you know, and uh, start asking myself question, hmm, what could I do differently? Or what about if I ask someone for help, you know, people said, can say no, but at least I ask it. You know, and I'm not kind of, uh, yeah, if I can call it afraid, if it's C CEO of the company or if it's some, my colleague Scrum Master. If, if I'm curious about something, I, I ask. Okay. And, I, and I, I can encourage everybody uh, to do that. It really helps. And, or at least remove some of these uh, uh, roadblocks or something. <laughs> 
I want to share something. Yeah, so for sure, I think to ask people, I mean, um, there's, um, uh, for me, uh, recently, I also changed my job and everything is under, um, is remotely and I don't meet any people uh, physically. It pushed me uh, to do what you are doing, like to arrange a virtual coffee and to talk to people. Otherwise, they don't know I exist. So mm -hmm. I'm kind of forced to do this, but it also now um, perhaps we are doing agile. We know it's okay to fail. Like if you fail, then okay, it's totally fine. You 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 fail once and you try again. You you might learn from it or you need someone right. So uh, it doesn't matter if you um, don't get support from someone, but maybe you find uh, from someone else. So just try and then um, do it. But another thing I want to um, say is, uh, it's not a compliment to the Agile community or Agile coach, but I find if you really talk to some uh, the person who is doing Agile, they will help you. Because uh, I mean, uh, the, for the person who are working as Agile coach or Scrum master, I think there is one character uh, in them is they want to empower people. To, to help people. So they won't, um, usually they, they, even though they know you are new, uh, they don't get any return thing uh, from you, but they still would like to help you. Um, so maybe you can try approach some agile coach or scrum master. <laughs> yep, and uh, to be honest uh, with you, we are applying all these ceremonies in our family. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when, when we want to go on vacation or something, let's do planning, you know, then we buy the tickets, uh, you know, book Airbnb or hotel, you know, travel there, come home, you know, look at, oh, that was good. You know, then we evaluate or reflect on some restaurants or some, you know, uh, events we participate. Oh, that was good. We should never go there. You know, it's kind of normal cadence, in my opinion, what we are practicing every day in our life. We are just not call it in private life, I'm agile. No, oh, that's just, you know, something what I'm doing. So, and yeah, you're probably wondering who is this guy? So yeah, it's me, uh, live in Copenhagen, uh, Mary with Maya, who is my co-host today. Uh, yeah, journey started as a developer, then, uh, if you are old enough, like myself, you probably remember this Nokia mobile phone connecting people. I was there, then uh, working for one uh, uh, IT security company, and then uh, here in, in Mask, this uh, shipping company, uh, uh, work at, uh, started this agile journey, and now in, I'm in this also Danish company in pharma industry, Novo Nordisk. And I try also to add these pictures about you know fix it and uh, grow mindset this is start of my career yeah until here and then i start enhancing or growing uh, uh, in, in in my personal life but also in, uh, uh, in, in at work and then i got of course some of these badges but uh, not because i want to collect all these badges but i really really learn a lot of in these uh, trainings and I met really, really great people around the world. And then also learned about, you know, uh, that, that I'm not, uh, yeah, uh, it's not only me who kind of facing the uh, same challenges, regardless if we are in Australia or, you know, Chile, Peru, US, Canada, we are facing the, the, the same challenges. And it's good to have a network so we can help and support each other. Johnny, please go ahead. Just a curious, I mean, uh, um, I think that's a great move from being an agile coach to a scrum master. I think that's really interesting. I've thought about it myself a few times. What, 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 what was your thinking? Oh, yeah, I love that question. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, when uh, they hire me, uh, it's again this, you know, company structure and uh, this safe model come from the top and people don't understand it yet and all these things. And then my manager told me, you know, you know, uh, you cannot be, I cannot hire you if you want to be in my apartment, I cannot hire you as an agile coach. Would you like to be scrum masters? And I said, whatever, you know, because <laughs> when I, 
when I, I came to Denmark many years ago, my dream was, you know, during my education to work for this mask and uh, and Norway. Now kind of both dreams come true. So, uh, and then I say, okay, you know, cool. And what I'm realizing, uh, you know, right now, and that's also wrong in my personal opinion, when you create the status, you know, I'm agile coach, ah, you are just scrum master. And that's not in my opinion, how it should be, right? Let, let's do that, this together, you know, let's focus on some value, you know, and let's think about us as a human beings, not, not machines. And I think sometimes we, um, it's important to get back into the work ourselves as coaches as well, you know, mm. the value is created, the value is created, uh, at, you know, in the work, the system is, the system and the system conditions are set up at a higher level. So it's important that, that, that we feel comfortable and knowledgeable in, in, in both areas, in, in my opinion. Absolutely. Really agree. Absolutely agree. Thank you, Johnny. <laughs> Any other comments or questions or thought? No, that's really nice. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. And yeah, oh my God, yeah, I'm getting. Yeah. I'm getting better and better right on time, right? <laughs> so <laughs> age up. <laughs> Thank you very much. That was really interesting. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you, guys. And thank you for joining. It has been a pleasure. I hope uh, you enjoy it. And I will share this uh, presentation if you want it uh, with you. And I would like to wish you a wonderful evening and uh, rest of the day if, if it's early for you. And see you around. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great day, guys. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you, Bye. Maya. Bye. Thank you, Alan. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Alan. Thank you. That went well, eh? Hmm? That went well. Yeah. Thank you very much. That was good and really interesting. Yeah, thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. So, cool. I will have uh, to you. Go on, sorry, go. Uh, yeah, uh, we had a, a meeting this morning with uh, Lindsay and uh, the Natasha. Uh, so it was just a uh, chit chat, Diana and I, and uh, uh, Natasha explained uh, this, you know, about this learning objectives and all these things. And she said, you know, it's not like, you know, uh, objective 4.2. It's uh, what we discuss, you know, it's ma mainly when we should kind of teach, uh, you know, some session, then we should mention, you know, learning objectives for, for this particular session. It's this, 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 what we, what we are aiming for. Sorry, can you run that? So, the, and the learning objectives, so the learning objectives that we know, 